when we made our presentation and showed him the three budgets, the first thing we did to make our argument that it was worth putting up another $600,000, we just said, we're going to change the name of the, the movie from Skeletons to Intolerance. And then Ken explained how he's going to have a scene where the young Jewish boy, he's going to actually have him with the curly Q sideburns. And they're going to really uh, take him, and they're going to strip the kid naked, and they're going to write piggy on his back, and they're going to beat the crap out of him. And, and he says he's going to really show Jewish oppression. The head of their business affairs is in the meeting, and is this very nice Jewish man. And he's becoming incensed. Uh, he doesn't want the Jewish uh, faith portrayed that way. And, this, and, and, and I'm making Ken's argument. I said, you're trying to get in the business with a filmmaker who's in the business of polarizing audiences. I mean, no, they hadn't seen Devils. No, they hadn't seen, they hadn't seen Women in Love, which was his Oscar nomination. They didn't know about a naked wrestling scene with two men. They, they don't know his body of work. They just know, oh, if we get Ken Russell, then actors will want to be in the movie. That's all they know. So I'm saying, you don't understand. You're talking about at least 20 or $30 million at the box office if you release a Ken Russell movie called Intolerance. And then, and then they all properly point out, but it's an offense to D.W. Griffith. I said, you're starting to get it. <laughs> We're polarizing an audience. We want people to be up in arms. That's why they're going to see the movie. That's why they're going to pay money at the box office. They want to see what everybody's talking about. That's what polarizing an audience does. We both got bounced on the picture, and, and they hired uh, a wonderful man who was my craft service guy on uh, Crimes of Passion to direct the movie. And he went on to a nice little career making nice little budget movies, David Dakota.